Hi everybody, I'm Shauna and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um, we decided to do a little pop-up live here and show you guys what we've been working on and how to make the flowers. So while I get this stuff out of my way, let me grab some of the stuff I've been working on. And I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's what happens when you do a jump, uh, just a kind of a jump on live. You kind of forget what you were doing. Um, let's see. I don't have my glasses. Can you tell me who's on it, Red? No, because I have to load it. Okay. Well, hi. I can actually recognize the picture, but I can't see the name, so I do apologize. And welcome. I'm glad Claudia. you're here. Oh. Oh, it's Claudia? Oh, hi, Claudia. I remember you. Yay. Um. I don't have my glasses, so I really can't see, but Red is going to be the one that does the uh, uh, reading off the comments for me if people come on. Um, one of the things I've been working on, and I talked to my friend that also does similar things, if it was okay for me to do this, and I got permission. So I want to put that out there. Been making some little signs, just really cute little things that you can put up on a wall or on a reef, however you want to do it. Let me set that aside because other people might come on. And I got this heart here too that we made. And we'll go ahead and bring up my last one. And we're going to show you guys basically how to work and make something similar to this today. So this, as I, sorry, have Oh, oh, okay. My hair go up my nose. My apologies. Claudia says hello. Jackie says hi, everyone. And Jacqueline says hi. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Jackie. Okay. And Claudia, hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Those signs are some of the ones that we were doing <laughs> that I started doing. And my friend gave me permission because what I want to show you guys, what we're going to start, is we're going to make something similar to this today. So we're going to be working on, which is on the opposite side of what I see on learning to make these little, if you will, flowers, which can also be made into several different things. Um, so like a little trophy ribbon that will also go on a um, decoration. Let me set that aside. And I also got this style here, similar to the other one. And here's a piece we're gonna be working with. So let me set those aside. Uh, one of the things we're going to do, the very first thing, is tell you what you all will need if you wanted to do this yourselves. Uh, one of the things you'll need, of course, will be um, your glue gun and glue sticks. Um, or any type of glue that, glue that you prefer. I think glue sticks is easier. It'll hold it together faster. And then if you want, you can add multi with it. Um, and then what this is, a, well, a little flower I added in this particular one. What this stuff is here... This is Dollar Tree ribbon, this one, the turquoise. This is actually Dollar Tree. Okay, so it's a dollar plus tax, so dollar eight. And you literally use like maybe that much of it. Hi, but Becky. then, hi Becky, welcome. We're doing a pop up live here, if you will. And um, then this here coloration is what I went to pick up today. Or, well, yeah, today I think it was, or last night. Let me show you. This is the grip lining liner that you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's, you get a fairly decent amount. And you get it at the Dollar Tree for a buck, so tax a dollar eight again. So it's really going to be inexpensive to make these. And pipe cleaners, which most of us already have. And I seem to have misplaced mine, so let me grab some more out here. Good thing I know I put some right here. Yay. Once again, Dollar Tree, a buck eight. Um, you can get those there too, multi-colors. <coughs> this, I actually think, <coughs> excuse me, I got it at the thrift store. So all we're going to need is this, is one of these, just one. Let me set that aside. And we'll go ahead and grab my colors. Oh, the lining grips, this stuff comes in several different colors. Um, depends on the time of year, depends on the colorations they put out. But I've seen it in red, black. <coughs> I'm sorry, I literally just like inhaled. <coughs> I 
I'm gonna choke. I'm sorry guys. Red, please water rinse it out. <coughs> I think I just inhaled a little spider web off of my glues, uh, my glue strings. Okay, so we got this here. And this one here is the same uh, Lionel stuff as the other one. And this one is um, white. What I did, I'm going to be bringing you guys down so you can see it. And watch your eyes. I'm bringing you down, and then I'll go ahead and back you guys up. And let me back you guys up a little so you can see. I got my little cutting mat down here. Oh, kind of an everything mat now. And on your measurements on the bottom here, I'm, I'm going to start at 10, okay, just because that's where the computer was situated at. And our first cut will be 6 inches, so 10 to 16 will be all 6 inches. So we're going to go ahead and start, oh my gosh, thank you, water, not wine, water. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> A pretty little glasses here. Let me set it way over there. Okay, let me finish cutting this. Oh my gosh. It's throat. Here we go. Okay, so we get this hip cutting. We got all six inch piece. And it's six inch by, I think it's 12. Yes, yeah, six. Six inch by 12 inch. And then our next one, we're going to go ahead once again and we're going to start at number 10. And since that one's six, my other one, I'm going to make it approximately four inches. So let me go down to my 14, since I'm starting at 10. That'll give me my four inches. And we're going to probably make this one an all-white one, all-white uh, flower here. There's black and yellow and brown. There's red. There's all kinds of colors in this. And then our next one, since that was four, usually you go down to like two. It's every two on each. But since that one was four, and I personally don't like the two-inch one working with them because they're so small, then I make too small of a little uh, thing. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to three. Just so I have that extra, make sure it's on the three, yes. So I have that extra bit to work with because little things in my hands just don't work. All right, so let me go ahead and move this out of the way. <laughs> now our next step is where our pipe cleaner is going to come in, guys. You're going to do this like you do with any of your other um, uh, mesh that you're working with, is you're simply going to gather it. Um, I think the little pieces, gathering it smaller, works better because you do want it to be kind of a little tight. Um, whatever you want to call this, a little tight, all put together, nice and snug. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Welcome. So then you take your pipe cleaner, and all you're going to do is use a little piece. So I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm going to go ahead and take them, pull them this way so I can see what I'm doing. And I literally want to make sure that I get this as tight as I possibly can. So I'm going to go around about three times, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Um, I'm pushing it down so the little pins won't cut anybody or poke anybody, Lord willing. Push down any little extras you got there. And then you got like this little flower. If you think one size longer than the other or you just don't like it, take your hand, cup it, and push it down in your hand like that. And you can see which one's higher than the other ones for whatever reason it turned out that way. And you just give it a slight little haircut and work with Hi, that. Donna. Who? Donna. Hi, Donna. Welcome, guys. And then we just open it up, and there's the top of our little flower. We'll go ahead and set him aside, and we'll grab our second one. The second one, we're going to do the exact same way, guys. You just gather it together, like so. Oops, come on down there. Except for when I lose it, huh? No, it's, this hi, is really forgiving. <laughs> Who? Oh, hi, Donna. Welcome. We got two Donnas. Yay. Welcome, you guys. So I'm go ahead and gather um, the person that taught me this is Nana from Southern Creations. I hope I got that right. She's awesome. I did ask permission, and she's like, yes, of course. That's why I taught you. Do it. I'm like, okay, yay. Because I wanted to use this in our next design. 
all design that we're going to do with these. And you see how this is going to pop out? So that's pretty cool. And if you think one side is too big, you can always take it apart, do it again. But I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to gather it like the other ones. And we're going to twist it about four times. I have a habit. I want to make sure they stay. I don't want it to come off and do it just once. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my excess once again. Get rid of the little pointy tabs because you don't want them to poke you or somebody else. See if you can just lay them down the best you can. Open it up. Here's the other section of your flower. And just get it to open, adjust it the way you want it to work. And if they all being stubborn, and yes, some of them will be, this stuff is so easy to manipulate. You can just work it out, make it work the way you want it. And see how some of this is longer than the other? You're always welcome to tear them apart because nothing's glued right now. Or once again, push it in your hand, cut off that excess make it stay the same as everything else and get it to open up now my one piece did fall when i covered it so it's going to be stubborn but that's all right we're going to work with it so here's our second piece of our flower toss that aside i'm going to grab the big piece this is our six inch once again we're going to gather and just get it to go as straight as you can which i am never good at this part once again it's a straight line thing which i cannot do a straight line and then once again, go ahead and bring my, my tie and try to even them out as much as you can. That way you don't cut off too much or waste if you don't want to. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now just because I already have it there. So I'm going to go ahead and twist it four times, approximately four times. Sorry, I'm missing Claudia says, ruffles. And then Donna says, hi all, what are you making? Hi, Donna. And who is the other lady? Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Thanks. Um, okay, once again, what we're making right now, um, we're going to ha go ahead and cut this, and then I'll show you. Just because I already got it in that portion, I don't have to do it twice. Cut off the little excess because, well, you know, I don't do anything straight. And then we got our little bottom piece of a flower, which may or may not be too big. If it is, we can always alter it. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys right back up for a few seconds here. And I will grab what we are going to make. Um, I kind of ruined my hair, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I ruined it. Anyways, so what we're going to do is show you guys what we're making. This is one of my signs I just finished. Um, and we're making these little flowers. I'm calling them little flowers because there's three layers and they look like they got little petals. And then you can use them in anything that you want to use them on. Or different, you can build them all kinds of different ways you want to build them. Um, as far as adding the colorations, you can even do multicolor, you can do it rainbow color. The limitation is only what you give yourself. You we set these aside. The sign today? We are going to make a fast okay. sign here. Uh, Vicki says, Hello, <laughs> first time watching. Oh, hi, Vicki. Oh, excuse me, Vicki, welcome. I am so glad you guys are all here. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Wait. Glenn. Gwen. Okay, I was like, wait, my Glenn too? No way. <laughs> um, something similar to this. Uh, I've been I literally just finished this one up. What this is, we're doing the flower right now, and then we're going to make another one on this little piece of wood here. And the pattern, I actually saw this pattern on, I want to say it was on pin interest for the cat, and I liked it, but I didn't quite like it the way they had it so I just threw it out by hand and I totally alter it to the way I wanted it for my black cat um, Donna says love those thank you Donna appreciate it so that's what we're going to be working on he said this aside stay there oh, Vicky says shared and Donna says I will have to watch the replay oh okay bye Donna thanks for coming by and thank you Becky uh, Vicky for sharing I appreciate that Okay, so before we finish our flower, we're going to go ahead and paint the back part of our board real fast so that it would dry because I literally, I'm going to bring you guys down again, watch your eyes. I literally did nothing before this. This is totally a pop-up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I already have my wood that I cut out for a bunch of other signs. So that's the only thing that really got done ahead of time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my 
paint, and I think I really well, let me use we're gonna use acrylic paint, guys. Oops, not that. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and use the acrylic paint. And oh thank you, Donna. Appreciate it, you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and use my favorite favorite old paintbrush. You know, gotta love these things, right? And we're gonna go ahead and take all white. I've been doing black, but I really wanted to try a white one here. We're just gonna I'm gonna do this on here and then we'll set this aside so it may dry. Even even though I'm painting it, you don't have to because once we're done with this part, you'll never see it. But because of our next step, uh, I discovered by making the first one that the flowers are a little odd. Um, says you can make those for on the trees. Yes, you can, Donna. You're absolutely right. Absolutely correct. So we're just going to do a real fast job. It's probably not the best painting job I have ever done or could do. But for the present time being, it will be sufficient. As you notice, I'm trying to pick up all the ends, so that's just me trying to make sure it's good enough. Because most of this board will not be showing. Um, truthfully, I'm not even going to worry about the edges, although I will go back and probably paint all the edges. I would recommend painting front and back. But because of time's sake, and I did not plan any of this pop-up, we're just going to go with what we got, set it aside, and be grateful that I was able to throw this together real fast here. Okay, so what I get is what I get, right, guys? Let me go ahead and set that away. It's just plain acrylic white, okay? Um, as you can tell, my white's almost gone, and it's dying. But I just did some simple acrylic white, and I'm going to set it aside. So it may dry while we finish off flour. I'm going to turn on my heat because we have a so-called storm. And I say so-called storm because every time we say we're going to get a storm here, we never get one. And I'm very disappointed in that because I love storm. So I'm just going to turn that heat on. If that's too loud, you guys, and it's interfering with you guys being able to hear me, uh, feel free to let me know and I can turn it off. <laughs> okay, back to our little flower here. Well, that was odd. That was interesting. Try that again. That was really weird. Could be the storm. Okay, I didn't cut this bottom one off because I may end up using that. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this on, if it's this one or a different one. So I'm going to leave that little give. I just want to show you how to make one of the flowers. And the reason why I'm not sure we're going to use on this one because that board is so much smaller. But at least we made a flower. So... After we put all the flowers together, our next step is um, to actually put them together. So what I'm going to do is on a big one, right where the um, twist tie is, guys, it's kind of hollow since this one's all white, but right where that twist tie is, we're going to go ahead and put our glue here. I'm going to try to get some enough of it in there. Because I'm going to take my second one, once again, where the tie is uh, sealed and pushed down. I'll go ahead and make sure you put that on top of it so that it helps to not get poked anybody. And we're going to hold it down. Now, guys, you hi, can Karen. use... Hi, Carolyn. You can use anything to make these, okay? Lace, material. It doesn't have to be the lino. I just thought this was really cool and I wanted to try it. So that's how I did mine. But definitely you got old, an old sweater or an old skirt, blouse, shirt, whatever you got. Or maybe even your children's old clothing. They are outgrown. And you want to make something to keep those as memories. You want to make your own photographs. This would be awesome to do with your little baby's um, clothing. Practice first just because it is your baby's clothing. And then go ahead and make one because you don't want to mess up, you know, your memories. You want to keep them priceless. Now, our last bowl here, we're going to go ahead once again where I put down the um, pipe cleaner and I folded them Donna under. Says, what materials are you Hi, Donna. Um, put my glue there. Hang on, Donna. I'll grab it and show you. And I'm going to put this one right here. And I actually think my little one and my next one got mixed, but I'm not going to worry about that. 
what I can do is alter it if I want it, but I kind of like this. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, the materials that I'm using is um, called Grip. Let me turn this. Maybe if I go that way, you guys can see it better. Called Grip. These are at the Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar eight with tax. And this is a shelf lining tool to put like on your kitchen shelves for your dishes. That's what this is supposed to be for. Not what I ever use it for. Um, so we got our little flower here going. If this is too big, guys, and in my opinion it is, for well, a little plate, it's very easy to go around to snip some of that off. Nobody knows the difference unless you tell them or they watch it. <laughs> but we can just take that little tiny extra off. No big deal. It does not have, oops, let go. It does not have to be perfect, you guys. This is for however you want it to be. And my biggest, there we go. Get rid of that. Okay, so here's our little flower. Now, um, like I said, you guys, check out uh, Nana's Southern Creations, I believe she's called, called her, biz, her business. She's awesome. And she did give me permission to do these and to... Um, show you the way I would do them and, you know, how I would change them. Um, I have a bunch of these little odd beads and little things that were given to me. So we're just going to pick out a stone. And since this is all white, I'm going to try to find something with it, maybe a little bit of color. And if you got old jewelry, um, that looks absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm kind of running out of all that. I have to go to the thrift store and see what I can find again. Oh, mine too, Donna. Absolutely. Okay, we'll think. I think I'm, we're going to go with the red. Let me set this aside. Put on my lid. I definitely don't want to block it. Okay, and on this here, you go ahead and add a little bit of glue. Try not to glue your fingers. You guys, this is something you can do with your children. Um, I love doing projects that you can do with your grandchildren or little children. Just be very careful, of course, with the glue. I know you guys know that, but, you know, I just have to say it because that's me. Okay, so here's a little flower that we're going to be using, assuming it's not too big for what I just made. We just painted. I could have done it too big, but we're going to go ahead and bring our, can our little wood here, if you will. I am going to turn this back off now. No, maybe not. Let's see. There we go. Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm screaming. So now we don't have to scream. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have... Oops, come back here. These little flowers. And these were given to me. And originally, I guess she got them from Oriental Trading Company. Uh, I believe you can find them on Facebook. Um, these are flower... Um, Sticky flowers. I don't know how to say the last word because I know I won't be able to speak it with my impediment, anyways, with my accent. So, but they come in multi colors, and I made some little examples for me to keep the size. And with these, what we're gonna do? Is I got, Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome. Get them off of there. They're stuck. The way I did that was I covered my entire board with the flowers. But what we're going to do is just give you an idea. Whoops, not those. Those are nothing. Is I was debating if I really wanted to cover the whole board, you guys, this time. Or if I wanted to just give it a little more bright cheeriness to it. Instead of all the colors. And maybe just add a few around and put a cat in the middle. I do have my cat pattern. So ahead and draw our cat first. I am going to use the pattern that I have previously made. Let me grab my kitty cat here. I even put it, I even drew it twice just in case I lost my pieces. And I have multi pieces to her. And I don't think I need any of those pieces. The rest we can use our own imagination and do it ourselves without my patterns here. Okay, let me move our little flowers, and then we'll get started here. But with this, all I did was this is my little pattern. One of them, anyways. 
I went ahead. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. And decided what I wanted my cat to be. Since my kitty cat is going to be hidden by some flowers on the bottom, I won't worry about no feet because you will not see them. And I think our kitty cat would look something like that. And how about a tail? And let's see if we can just kind of get the illusion of a tail. We may just go ahead and draw our own little tail on here by hand. Okay, and just lay your pattern. You guys, all this is is a circle, a teardrop, scribbly lines, and then with your ears, little triangles. And since I'm making the back part of this and not the face, I'm not going to worry about any details for the face at all. I am going to go ahead, once again, I do want my black cat, so I will grab black acrylic paint here. Let me get this open. Let me move that out of my way. Oh, but before we do that, we better draw it, right? I'm just going to paint it. So I'm just going to place my teal drops, so we grab my pen I was using. Okay. And I could lower him a little so we can give him some ears because, like I said, the bottom half will be covered. So we'll go right about there. And I'm just going to trace, trace him oh, with my Sharpie pen I have here. It won't be perfect, but it doesn't matter because once we're done painting, you'll never know it wasn't perfect. Okay, just go ahead and get this going. Okay, so we got our body on. Let me, let me set this over here because I don't want to lose my pattern because I altered this one from my original pattern. So I like to keep them both. I am going to go ahead and maybe put his head right about here. So we'll go ahead and just trace his little head on here. Once again, guys, this is just like a circle and a teardrop. I can't get that to go on the board. There we go. And a teardrop. And um, if you guys have a pencil, use a pencil instead of what I'm doing. It's a lot easier. And then just some triangles. Don't worry about the teardrop going into the head. You'll never see it. We are going to keep our little squiggly tail. But I think we decided to do it kind of backwards. Remember, all patterns, you guys, it's just a pattern. It's just an ideal. You can change it any way your heart desire, okay? So don't worry about it being perfect or looking like the next person down the street or keeping up with the Jones. Just do it the way you love it. Because what you love, there's somebody else out there that's going to love it too. And as long as you're happy with your work, that's what counts. Now we got our body, no ears. So what I'm going to do with his ears is I'm not even going to worry about the pattern. I'm just going to put a couple of triangles up here. One little triangle. Two little triangles, kind of looks like, um, what you call it, horns. <laughs> but that's okay, we can straighten them out, make them look like a kitty cat's ears. Okay, good enough, you guys. What do you think? Good enough? Because I think I like them like that. Okay, so our next step is part of painting. And I think I'll go ahead and get me a small brush. I hate using my small brushes because it takes so long. We'll use a big brush. Let me clean this first. We'll use a big brush on the inside and then take the small brush to do all details. Now, I am going to leave the back of it pretty white, although you could have made it any color you want. Okay, guys? Anything you want, totally up to you. So go ahead, and I'm going to dip my brush in my paint, and I'm going to use my lid as my little easel here. And we're going to go ahead and just get that on there. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because you probably will end up having to do it twice. If you want, you do not have to. And we'll just get this going around. See how my body's coming bigger than what my pattern was? I'm not panicking, guys. Don't panic. It's okay. Hey, Donna asked, do you sell these? I do. Um, people just private message me if they're interested in something. And I do sell. Thanks for asking, because I never think about telling anybody that. So we just go up here. Um, and since I got my big brush, I'm just going to take it a little more careful. I'm 
normally I haven't sold too many things because I usually just teach and nobody asks and I never think about telling them. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And we're getting this nice, the best I can without panicking because I'm using my big brush. I'm going to go ahead and bring my angle down and I'm just going to go across the edge. Once again, I am not going to panic because if I don't like it, I can make it bigger. Or I can erase the whole thing if that's what I choose. But what I'm choosing to do is go ahead and keep trying to use my big brush without panicking because I usually panic at this point. And I want to hide my brown line is what I'm trying to do, guys, in case you're wondering. Let's just get that head. Whoops, I went out of my head, but that's okay. That was careless because I forgot that my brush flares out when I do that. But that's okay because I can fix it. Oh, I'm not so going to panic. Should. Oh, well, thank you, Donna. And here we go. Bring on the bottom parts. And I'm going to turn this just so I have a better uh, control of my brush so I can see what I'm doing. And I know I'm going outside my line. Once again, it's okay. For two reasons on this one. One, we're going to be hiding most of the kitty cat anyways with our flowers. At least on this particular one, I will be. But just because of who I am, I am going to straighten him out just a wee bit. Oops. And change out my brush. Okay. Smaller brush here, guys. Just a nice little small brush. If you guys can see the edge here. Just so that I have more control on this side because for some reason I seem to lost control <laughs> twice and I don't want to. So I just want to get this done without painting my blouse. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start up here. Well, right now I'm just getting that very edge, as you can tell, and I want to hide my brown line. Now, eventually, that line probably would never even have show, showed anyways once we're done with what we're going to do. But just in case we decide to change our mind how to do it at the last moment, We'll just gonna go ahead. He's a little bigger than what he was a second ago. And we'll hide that. Whoops, come here. We'll hide this little tab right here and not worry about no more. Because that is good enough. And I keep going out of the line on this side. I think you guys can tell that. So we're just going to fix it going this way. And then I'm not going to worry about no more. I'm not going to try to fix it anymore. Because every time I do, I make him fatter. And I don't want him much bigger than what he is. And now we'll get the head, and we're going to have to fix the mistake or the happy little accident I made because I forgot my brush, well, what do you call that, expands, since I can't say the other word. Okay, and there we go. We'll just get this going. I'll be more careful over here. Let me turn him and get this little end here going. We almost got our little black cat here painted. I'm just going to bring that up in the ear area. The ears, we don't have to worry about just yet. Let's get this one little brown line that I see showing hidden. Come on, baby. Thank you. I think it's actually easier for me to paint opposite sides. So we're going to try that. I'm sorry, guys. I keep turning it on you. My apologies. Ah, yep, got it. Okay. There's that one little spot that was driving me nuts. Okay, so we got our little line here done. Now I'm going to come right up into my ear. The ears are really simple. It's just, whoops. And whoops. Don't have to worry about it being perfect. Don't have to worry about any of it because the ear is, this is what we're going to do. And this is the back side of the kitty cat, so we're not putting no details in there. So all we got to do is get our little spot here to be straight and not have to worry about it. So we're going to go backwards on the cat ear. Perfect. And now we're just going to catch where I made that happy little accident. And my kitty cat head is a little off. So we're just going to bring it totally around here. And it will also hide that brown line I had there. So we won't worry about that no more after we get this little dot. There we go. So we got that done. Now we'll go ahead. Once again, we got this other little ear. Just going to bring it right down into the other black cat body. And I'm not even worried about all, you know, 
if you want, you can do this, shade it in, make it so everybody just knows this is obviously round and you're coming down in a different shape. But for all time, let me grab, whoops, any more paint in here? Oh no, come out of the flower. Grab some more paint. I just want to get this little tiny edge right here and make them come down. There we go. So everything on the little black kitty cat's done, except for the tail, I realize. Just now, actually. Okay. So we'll go ahead and a little more black paint here. Once again, guys, this one, I'm actually using my acrylic. And I am going to go outside these lines, but I'm actually doing that on purpose. And let me fix the little line here. I just noticed this was all brown. I must have missed that. Okay, go back to my tail. The tail, literally, guys, is a loop. So like a little zigzag. That's all we're doing. Just going to fill it in. Kind of got to turn it again. I'm sorry again. And we'll catch the side of our little tail here. It's okay to go on the outside of that line. I'm okay with that. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Welcome. We're just getting a little cattail painted here. And if I go outside the line, that's all right. Because it's just a little tail. And we will make it work. And bring it down. The first cat, you guys, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> this is so funny. Why I said that you don't have to worry about something, making a mistake, because it's fixable. Everything that it can be fixed. It may not be the exact same way you wanted it, but you can fix it. You get this little line, and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you would never, ever know that I made this huge, miss, well, huge happy little accident, if you will, um, mistake or accident on my other cat. And it really was, once I realized I did it, I was like, God, I was really must have been dumb for a split moment in time. My head must have been in La La Land because that was really, really dumb. And then when I looked at it, I thought, well, you know what? That's pretty creative. I like that mistake. So we're going to keep it. Let me put my brush in water. And I'm going to close my paint. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to sit him in front of this heat once again. Whoops, sorry. So he can dry. And I will show you. And sit. Let's see if you guys can find my huge mistake I made. Put the kitty cat. Did I see the kitty cat? Look okay. I'm going to bring you up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, watch your eyes, guys. Okay. So here's a little black cat. Nothing fancy. Simple little back part of the black cat. Now, if we wanted to make him just a front part or different colors, you're always welcome to do that. So we're going to sit him in front of the heat. <laughs> Let me bring this over. This is so funny, guys. Can you guys see my huge, huge mistake? And I mean huge. When I did this. It's okay, baby. When I did this. I actually made his tail come way out here and up like this. This flower pattern here is actually hiding probably about a half an inch of paint that I painted here to try to bring this tail up. And when I looked at it, I was like, well, I've just made a triangle with an itty bitty snub on top. So I put my big old flower, and this is hiding this huge mistake I made with his tail. I literally put hi, his Debbie. tail way up here. So, hi, Debbie. I had him right here. Now he's here because I added this and I hid this. So, and then I put the uh, devil flowers on it so you can't see that this was a huge mistake. So now it's just a kitty cat with a cricket collar. But it's supposed to have a cricket collar. Okay, so our next step here with our kitty cat. We'll go ahead. I'm going to bring you guys right back down. Okay, so watch your eyes. I'm going to bring you down. Okay, our next step with our kitty cat, <coughs> which I do with one of these. These, all those flowers uh, from the Orient Express, Express, however you say it. Okay, all you do is kind of rip it a little. So that you can get the sticky part off, which I have so much problems with, as you can tell. I struggle with the other one, too. 
Okay. And these are actually sticky. So I didn't have to make these, but I do have the pattern. If I, oops, let go of me, if I want it to. So now your next step is, what do you want to flowers? Well, I thought it'd be kind of cool if the flowers just kind of hit the bottom part of the cat. You don't have to worry about putting all the little feet in there. You just kind of make him hide, give him some little details. So you just place as many as these you want or as little as you may want. And just kind of hide the bottom. So we got one down. Let's see what we can actually make it in. So, once again, I have absolutely nothing in my brain as far as how I wanted it to look, other than the fact that I wanted another cat, and I wanted it on white. So, we get this to pill, if I'm lucky enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. I was about to throw this one down and pick a different one. I'll go ahead and pick up this here. And you can tell they're just sticky on the back and your little design on the front. So we're just going to go ahead and place it. It's okay to place them on top of each other. It's not going to matter. And if you decide it's too see-through, which some of them all, let me show you. I don't know why. Maybe they're too old, but some of them really all see-through. And if you don't want your kitty cat or doll you make to show through, just real simple, add another one right on top. It can be the exact same one or a different one. It really doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. Let me get this here open. And we're just going to go ahead. You know, we're going to semi-double it. But let's kind of put it at a different little angle. So it will show that there's two there. And it just hit it a little. And we'll go ahead and add some more of our little flowers on here. Okay. Or you can make your little flowers. Like I said, I did copy a pattern. So I can just make my little flowers. Put them down lower. And then once these flowers are on, guys, let me grab a yellow one. Once these flowers are on and everything's done as far as how I want the paint and everything to be on the cat, then I will put Mod Podge over it. Uh, at least I did the first one. Just to kind of help hold... The flowers on there because these all older you know these been around for a while so we'll go ahead and add another little blue one here and then after i get my little flowers on which i think we almost got it come on i guess in a way these are these little stickers huh let me get that one right here oops i'm straight thank you and just right on it See how fast they dry? Well, the paint is what I'm talking about. It dries pretty fast. And then if you want, if you don't want to spread across, you're going to bring something up maybe a little. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. You can do that. It's totally up to you. This is totally your creation. So once you get whatever you want, paint it, paint it. Just start designing it any way you want it. So um, I guess you would call this kind of mixed media. And we'll go ahead, we're just going to, you know, since this is yellow, I'm going to go ahead and bring it over here. Because it would have been right on top of my other yellow one. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more red one to it and call it good with my little flowers. Let me get this to open. Oh my goodness. You think with nails I'd be able to open them, right? Okay. And we're just going to bring this kind of over the top of these ones and just lay it. And we're going to call it good. Oh. Kitty cat tail, I've got a segment pattern. So now we got our little material on the bottom. You just push it down until it stays. You can do the edges too. And then you just put your Mod Podge right over the whole thing. That way it looks better, not just half, because my whole little streak. So you just do the whole thing with Mod Podge. And once it dries, it'd be pretty cool. Okay, so now I wanted to give it a little something extra. So that's where these little guys come in, all little flowers we made. And you can decide where you want them. Um, let me find my little, and decorate it however you want. I did like the color on them. I think it gives it a little bit of bling, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of this. This is ribbon from the Dollar Tree, you guys. So $1.08, I think you get nine feet on it. 
oh yeah, 19. You just gotta make sure you paint it on the right side here or glue it down. Come on, baby. We're not pushing hard enough. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna burn me. Okay, so just try to put a little less than what I just did and not burn yourself when you're putting a your little color on here. You can put ribbon or anything, no flowers. Let me catch this side. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got our little color there. Let me get that aside. You guys, if you don't like all the white, you can always go back and paint it like a little scenery on it, which I might actually do. I paint little mountains or something in the background, like he's looking at mountains. But here's our little flower. And I kind of think that it since it's so much white, we're going to go ahead and switch that out. And we're going to bring this one on here. Yep, I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Let me turn it around and bring you guys up just a little so you can see him. Oops. And then add a little bow here. Give it a little more decoration so you can put it here. Totally up to you. You can add as many as you want. So I think what I would do is I'm going to add it on this side. Just kind of like that. I probably will go through and get rid of the white because it's just a lot. So I might paint a mountain scene on it. Hi, Lola. Lola? I don't. Hello, welcome. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Oh, grand, uh, grandbabies. Yay. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and stick a little overgrown flower or, yeah, flower here. You can always cut these off since we decided to use this one. Just kind of folding it up to see what it will look like if we got rid of them or we'll cut them shorter. Make that stay, a little bit of glue. And I'm going to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, bring you guys up. And hello again. And show you guys. And here's our little kitty cat on white backing compared to the black one. I know this isn't the one that we made here, but the white on the white was just too, too much. So what I will do is probably make it something different and put this one on it. But at least you guys can get the idea of how to make it if you want it to. Um, I will probably take off my ribbon so that I can paint a design in the background. I think the white on white is a little bright for my blood. I like colors. So, anyways, I will take off my bow, fix the backing, put some color in it, and then we will mod pause it. But for now, I just want to give you guys a little pop up and see what y'all thought of what we've been up to here lately at Ring of Light Crafts. Um, we've just been having fun making our little signs, all types, and front and back of the signs. Um, I tend to paint. I would feel it's a little nicer to do that. So that's what we've been up to. A little tutorial here, how to make your own black kitty cat. And come Halloween, oh my god, it'd be so much fun. We put little skeletons in the back and take out the flowers and put in skeletons. Anything that you want to do with these, you can do with them. Um, like I always said, only limitation is what you want to put into oh, it. I'm sorry if there are people. Oh, those people? Yeah. Cool. I'm glad um, there's people. What happened? Hi, Debbie. Oh, hi, Debbie. Welcome. Uh, hi, Gary. Oh, let's call. Okay. Hi, Gary. Oh, welcome, guys. Uh, <laughs> hi, Shorty. Oh, hi, Shirley. I'm glad you guys are all here. I, I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial. And Donna says, very cute. And Debbie says, that's cute. And Debbie, the other well, Debbie thank you says, both. cute. Oh, thank you all. Um, we've just been having some fun with these little things. Um, for those that didn't see, this is the one we did today. This here. That I probably will add more coloration to it. And then we've been making our little hearts. This one here, and I only did one more 
and this little girl here. Just been having fun making little signs. Set them aside there. And I'll keep this one because I'm going to work on it. So anyways, I thank you guys very much for joining us today. I hope you have a very blessed Wednesday. Well, Thursday, depends on where you're at. Gary says, Shorty <laughs> is my nickname. Oh, well, hi, Gary. And Shorty. You're the gentleman that tells everybody to drink, right? Am I right? Debbie says beautiful. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Gary. Claudia says, I actually have everything that I need to make this. Granddaughter is coming tomorrow, and now we have a project. Thank you so very much. Yay. Oh, please uh, post your picture after you're done. I'd love to see what it looks like. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love it. I love the blue one. Love what, honey? The blue one. Oh, thank you. And uh, Gary says, drink. <laughs> yes, it is. You. And Donna awesome. says, Welcome. I love the heart. Oh, well, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys telling me what you think of my thank work you. and helping me spread the word. Um, I really do appreciate it. It's such a blessing and an honor. Um, hi, who? Gina. Oh, Gina came on. Hi, Gina. Welcome. Um, fun things today. We made this one here. And I will have to finish modifying it later because I don't want to hold everybody up. I know you got your family. Kids are going back to school, but they're coming home right about now, huh? So anyways, you guys, um, if you wouldn't mind, please like and share. Uh, help us get out there. We really appreciate it. And as always, I thank you all for coming and joining us. And definitely, without a doubt, be blessed.